Okay, today I'd like to continue our series of Van Hub. The box or virtual machine would be Van Box under construction. I put the link into the description section below so you can download the image. Before we start today's video, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate your help and support. So now let's get started. Uh, to save time, I have already imported the image or the virtual machine into the virtual box. And now I'd like to enter into the virtual machine of Kali Linux. As you can you see, as you can see, uh, I have already identified the IP address of the virtual machine as 254. And uh, next, I also did the map scanning. From the, from the map scanning results, as you can see over here, the several open ports. The first one is 22, which runs SSH surface. Of course, this version doesn't have any vulnerability we can exploit. And next one is 25, which runs SMTP. Of course, I we cannot figure out how to uh, explore or exploit this surface. And the next port is 80, which runs HTTP surface. And the next one is 110, which runs POP3. And the last one is 143, which runs a map protocol. So, of course, now we need to do some emulation for the port 80. And now let's open up our Firefox. Let's enter. Yeah, we need to refresh the page. Our site is launching soon. And uh, if we can uh, have a cook, have a quick look around the, the, the page. This is apparently a static uh, page. And also we can check the source code of this page. But it doesn't give any inform useful information. Okay. And also we can check if the target has some sort of robots file, robots, but not found. And now, of course, we need to do what we are going to do is to do some the directory emulation, and we can use the GoBuster, specify the URL. And I'd like to auto-complete this command. Okay, I think it's good. Let's hit enter. Yeah, immediately we got the the directory which is catalog. We can copy this directory name and paste in here. So I think uh, from the content of the retrieved page, this is the OS Commerce uh, CMS and also the version information. Of course, now what we are going to do next is to, to, find, to find out whether this CMS or OS Commerce has vulnerability. Okay, and we can copy and go back. I think we can interrupt the process of directory emulation and we can use the search sprite and the paste in here. And also we can specify the, the version. Okay, there's some uh, vulnerabilities or exploit we can use. And uh, of course, the, the, this exploit code we, has the, the highest priority because it can give us the RCE or remote code exec execution. 
Okay, so now let's copy、uh, this code into our working directory. Let's use the search exploit and specify the M option, and we can copy. Okay, now we have ready. Maybe we can、uh, change the name to the exploit. And we can use the Vim editor to edit or have a look around this code. Of course, this is the Python、uh, script, and the base UL. Of course, we need to modify this field, and we can put the IP address of the target and.、Uh, The catalog is directory name, and the next also this part we need to remove and change local host to the target IP address. And、uh, now let's scroll down. So I think、uh, this this code, this Python code will execute list or ls command, right? And now we can write and quit, and we can Python and run. Yeah, successfully launch the exploit. Open the following URL to execute our code, and we can copy. And paste in here, in the browser. Yeah. So I think we succeed running the command of ls. And naturally, what we are going to do next is to try to get the shell from the target. And we need to modify the command inside this code to. To our own one, we can vim. Of course, we need to get the reverse shell code. Reverse cheat sheet. Yeah, pen test monkey. Very good website. And I can tell you, I tried this one, but、uh, this command didn't work for us. And、uh, this one does work. Of course, you can try yourself. This one we can make a copy and、uh, make a note of this on the mouse pad, and we need to change the IP address to our Kali Linux, and also like change change the port number to my favorite one, and we can copy this. Command and go back to our shell. And here, we need to remove the ls. This time, we don't want to run ls command. We want to run the reverse shell command, and we can paste in here. Okay, and we need to add the bracket. Uh, yeah, I think it's good. It's, I think it's good enough. Let's write and quit, and、uh, we can open up another new tab. And set up the Nisna. And、uh, here we need to run this exploit code, and、uh, hope hopefully this can give us a good result. Yes, successfully launched the exploit, and we need we need to copy 
this URL again and uh, paste in here. And we go back to our listener. Yeah, now we have already successfully retrieved the reverse shell from the target. And we can make this shell interactive by ROM Python PTY, PTY module and the spawn method. And now we can cut the content and we there is a uh, two configure file. Sorry about the notification. Yeah, here some of course always we we need to find whether this file has some credentials. But uh, this file doesn't have. Okay, it's okay. And also we can cut another file. Okay, here, uh, there is username for the database server, but of course, if we need the content of the home directory, there is one user, username is Jack, and the password is yellow. So maybe the Jack use the same password for the shell, and we can switch. Uh, switch to the Jack and uh, specify the password as yellow. Now we are uh, in the shell of the jack. And of course, the next step would be to get or elevate our privilege. And uh, uh, I think from this point on, there are two ways or there are two methods. Uh, the, the, the first method, we can use the Metasprite and the post exploitation module to do this. I'll put this method into my write-up. So you, if you want this method, uh, details of this method, you can uh, have a look at my uh, write-up. I, I will put the link into the, into the dis description section below so you can uh, access this uh, resource if you wish. But another method, if you will go to, of course, this is not uh, so easy to find out. We can go to navigate to user directory and uh, share directory. And we can see, and also And uh, examples. Yeah, there is one share script, and we can cut this content. Yeah, here is here is the some information like uh, parameter, and this message is encoded in base sixty four. We can make a copy and we can decode this message. So I think uh, this is the credentials for loot user and we can make a copy. And uh, paste the password of loot here. Okay, we successfully switched our shell to the loot user and we can go to the loot directory and cut the loot flag here so there will be no problem of course um, i think this way or second method uh, just i demonstrate uh, today is not uh, so easy it's not uh, so straightforward so uh, to be honest uh, uh, when i did the uh, when I did this virtual machine or the box. I used the the first way or first first method, and this way, uh, of course, utilize the latest exploit or vulnerability of the Linux. But anyway, that's all I'd like to demonstrate in this video. I hope 
you can get a bit of value or benefit from my video. I I, I always uh, try to uh, try to record more v videos in this field. Okay, bye.